and I'm back. Oh boy. Okay, time to continue this quest through the final dungeon. Because I'm honestly kind of lost right now. Haha. <laughs> Not a surprise, right? Oh. Okay, time to get this two going. This should be good. I don't think we have a chance! Wow. Okay, I have to do the whole armor thing. I'm not here. I like it, I, I don't know if I'm damage. takes me damage. Kind of a survey. That would explain why it why it's uh, got such so hit points so it's got such a high defense that its hit points doesn't go to be super high. Wow, this battle is really annoying. Oh, my God. 
dead very soon. No, he just died. Finally, I refuse to fall here. Well, that took me a lot of experience. Oh, I oh, he loves indignation. <laughs> okay, so that supports these things to get your final Mr. Cards. That amazing kid learns indignation. Ah, that's gonna be awesome. Of course, I have to, um. Of course, even if I don't uh, get all of them in this playthrough, it doesn't matter because. Well. Back to spray then, that's fine. Oh, I get it, that just took you back to... Okay, that's fine. This area is just for the... Okay. Huh. Yeah, um, what? Oh, hello. That's... That's good. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize we got powerful. And all that's here is a uh, all band.
orb and some soul, an orb, some souls, and some treasure. Very nice. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm getting a little lost. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, it's only needs to take chance, but... Big deal, right? I mean, it's still a chance. Chance is a chance is a chance. Oh, right, I jumped down there, that's why. I jumped down there last time. Not this time, this time we were this way. Hey, Mogulo, I just remembered something. You still haven't given me that hundred gold you owe me. <laughs> I, I have no earthly idea what this hundred gold is that you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. It's a hundred gold. Pay up. Cold as ever. I think I saw icicles coming out of your mouth. I risked my life accompanying you on your quest for revenge, and now you want me to give you a hundred gold on top of that? Well, I've had enough of this treatment. I'm going home. Okay then. So long. You're not even trying to stop me! <laughs> Surely you can appreciate that a feisty fighter such as myself is indispensable to your efforts to take down Inomi, <laughs> yes? But I'm not heartless. There's still time to make amends. I can ignore these transgressions under the right conditions. <sighs> okay. If either of us gets swallowed up by Inominot, the other one has to pay her a hundred gold. Hmm? You lost me there. We're betting a hundred gold on who gets eaten by Inominot. If you win, your debt will be wiped clean. You can't complain about that. Oh, I can complain, believe me. <laughs> Bringing up this 100 gold that I'm not even obligated to pay, hiding your kindness behind your cold words, and I'm just getting started complaining. Do you think I wouldn't notice this attempt to take advantage of an emotional witch to manipulate me into helping you defeat Inominot? Mogulu, I... I'm putting down 100 bajillion gold. That's how much you'll owe me if you make it out alive. You have three seconds to back out. Three, two, one... That's on for real now. I'll have to stick around for my money. I guess I have no choice but to help defeat Inominot and Artorias and to bring you back in one piece. You always have to have it your way, don't you? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's not what you should be saying. I think my you meant God. to say, thank you, Muggy Lou, my best, best friend. Actually. <sighs> yeah, sure. Thank you, Muggy Lou, my best, best friend. But so we're clear, I'm staying alive on my own terms. Not just because you told me to. And you say I'm the one who always has to have it my way. But think twice before trying to put one over on the great witch Mogilu, she who delivers retribution and comeuppances! If I cared, that is, which I don't. 
<laughs> Do you really think we'll be able to win? Yes. I'd like to just tell you not to worry about it. But I know that can't be helped. In my mind, too much worry can make you lose battles you should be able to win. I wish I knew how to be like you. I mean, except for turning into a demon. It's just about keeping your mind calm, isn't it? Me, I try to think about what I'm gonna do after a big fight. Like, what I'm gonna have to eat, or, or what I'm gonna read next. Anything like that. Alright then, let me ask. What do you plan on doing when this battle is all over? Hmm? You've already beaten Lord Shigure. Once Lord Artorius and Inominat are out of the picture, there will be no better sword fighter in the whole world. What exactly will you set your sights on next in life? First of all, I still have a ways to go before I'm truly better than Shigure. What? But you've already beat him. Only by fighting with three blades. If we had matched greatsword against greatsword, I wouldn't have been on his level. Besides, it's a big world. The next great opponent could be out there anywhere. You really are a man of unassailable conviction, Rokuro. That's just because I'm a demon. What about you? What'll your next move be? I want to keep doing whatever I can to help people. Not as an exorcist, but as another human being. Just to give you a fair warning. If you ever attack humans like other demons do, I won't hesitate to take you down. Oh yeah? I'm pretty tough, you know. Don't worry about me. When we win this battle, I'll have the confidence I need to become even stronger. Then I guess you've answered your initial question. Yeah, let's go. We have a fight to win. Damn straight! Just kiss her already, Rokuro! I don't know if she wants even it. Even after we defeated kiss, I mean. not, you'll still be able to see me normally, right Aizen? Yeah, we spiritual beings like Malakim and demons will still be aware of each other like before. But nearly every human will stop seeing us, just like Magilu said. Well... Does that make you sad? Doesn't it make you sad? I mean, Benwick and the other pirates won't be able to see you anymore. It doesn't matter whether they can see me or not. They already know that I'll always be right there with them. When I go back to being a ghost to them, I'll be sure to make their voyages very interesting. Oh yeah! Back before they could see you, they thought you were a ghost haunting their ship. Yeah, it'll be just like old times again. So, your life will go on, alongside the pirates in their ship, even if they can't see you? But our eventual parting is inevitable. That's something we can never escape as Malachim. For we live far longer than any human. Parting is always hard. If you don't want that pain, the only way to avoid it is to shun all contact with humans. Some Malachim never leave our heavenly realm, where the conflicts of foolish men are but distant rumble, hardly felt or heard. But to me, humans are an inspiration, living to their fullest with the limited time they have. Yeah. Not that Malakim are immortal, either. We have our own ends to face, myself included. I don't know if that day will come in 500 years or a thousand, or even tomorrow. So I choose to live here with them, moment by moment, giving it everything I've got. Benwick and the other pirates know how you feel. That's why you won't be sad when they can no longer see you. Yeah, I believe that's true. But I... It's okay to feel lost. Let yourself wander for a while. But whatever you end up choosing, decide it for yourself. In the end, that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay. Show them how I... Wow. Nice. Oh, hello. I don't think we have a chance. <laughs> Now, rise, arise, ascending, 
I just realized something. These monsters, these bosses, are just like a theory of some of Aren't they? I mean, this is just like medicine. Yeah, just like this stuff. Back down to the freaking. This is kind of a piss that this place is not very good for grinding. I mean, it's aside from those four bosses that give you your mystic arts, I guess. This opens up another path. <laughs> Several, actually. Sheesh. Nice shortcuts. Yeah. 
Maybe I need to go down now to somewhere. This must be the final area. Has to be, because... Yeah. I can feel him. Inominat is just up ahead. Now see if I'm good enough to beat this guy. Finally, time to repay my debt. You just like saying that, don't you? <laughs> yes. Ah, you saw right through me. Oh, come on. It wasn't hard. Nobody here is going to do anything for anyone but themselves. I can't deny that. Your wheel is yours alone to hold. That is our creed. That's a nice way of saying that we're a bunch of selfish pricks, isn't it? Anyway, it's hard to go murder a god and a shepherd. Let us find out, shall we? Just how I stack up against the final boss of Tales of Berseria. My first next gen, current gen now, Tales game. Oh, look, it's a little brat. To keep you waiting, gentle shepherd. The Lord of Calamity and friends are here to see you. I can't wait to strike down the world's greatest swordsman. You picked a fight with the Ifree pirate crew. Now we're here to finish it. Lord Artorius, I follow my own will now, and I'm going to stop you. In my sword lie the hopes of mankind, the potential for a perfect world. Nope. Wow, fancy. Do you really believe that will without reason can break it? Yes. Your sword is strong. But it's still only a weapon, just like ours. Why don't you test that theory? With your life, of course. I'm gonna kick your ass now! And yours too, you little brat! Do you really think you can control your gnome that? You arrogant fool. Ever since you hit me, I've had this really annoying feeling in my chest. But I can't figure out what it is. Fear, maybe? Then I'll just have to hit you again and see if that helps! <laughs> Hmm. I'm sure I'll feel better after I eat you. You're such an evil little bastard. Arthur! I finally have an answer to your question. Why do you think that birds fly? Birds fly. Because they want to fly. Exactly. They don't need a reason. Even if their wings may snap and doom them to die. They don't fly for anyone's benefit. They don't fly because they were ordered to. Birds fly because they want to fly and for no other reason! So that's your answer. It's a damn good one, too. Yes. Because that's who I am! You were always like this. That sort of foolishness is what creates the demons and plunges the world into tragedy and despair. Then you drive the demons out! 
Isn't that right, Shepard Artorius? That has been my plan all along. Along with controlling humanity, you arrogant prick. That minute, she doesn't want to be a god. Now we get to fight these idiots. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! Give him that honor, just murder the little boss. They fought really well together, too. Stealing Yuri Laurel freaking arty little bastard. That's that art belongs to Yuri Laurel, not you. Yeah, 
Bye bye. This can't be. I'm the almighty shepherd. I'm supposed to win because I'm the good guy. You're really not. Even if you were, the guys don't always win. I know in these games they usually do, but um. Yeah, they're gonna armatize off of this man. Tenacious demons. Oh yeah. Demons, exorcist, witch, and a couple of malachians. He's the reason, right there. I'll take care of you. Stand aside, Velvet. No, you idiots. You'll stand aside, I order it. I mean, I know you hate me, but I'm going to order you to stand aside to convert your brother. You're an idiot. Wow. <gasps> Recognize that, you little shit? She throws everything away in order to get huh? to you. Velvet. Why do you have my comb? That was the comb that Laffy gave me. Not you, we know me not. Ha, see? Uh, of course. I'm Inomi not now reborn. And you're the Lord of Calamity. Oh, Artorius. I'm hungry. My stomach is empty. My chest is empty. My body is empty, too. I'm... It hurts. It hurts so much. He's about to cross the shirt and lie. It looks it? like we won't be able to harvest despair by eating you anymore. Well then. Birds must fly. Because they possess strong wings. Mankind must be suppressed. Because it possesses great sin. You're not without sin yourself, you know, you murdering bastard. Malevolence, tragedy, war, anger, tears, even love must all be suppressed. Wait, what's Selica said about that? With the oh, right. of my beating wings. I will grant humanity the tranquility it deserves. You're malevolent, buddy. You know me not. Come, devour my despair. <laughs> Bite me, you piece of garbage. <laughs> oh, good, he's about to. Man, here is a... Yeah. Now I'm gonna kick his ass. For real. The final battle. E good versus evil. You know me not so mad as... Wait. Now, with the full might of my armadas, I shall suppress all creation. Um, Artorius was filled with this much despair? Was he holding it in check this whole time? One misstep, and he would have become a demon. Such is the power of Artorius is determined. Termination! Blow me, asshole! Okay, no, don't. You fucking. No, never mind. That was a stupid thing to say. What the hell was that for? Jeez. I don't care, die. 
the final battle so I'm gonna everything I have. What am I doing? I need to I've got more cane bottles right here. <laughs> to God, go. Wow. Amazing people. Yeah, was the fun. This one, yes. Of course, like every most tales of protagonists, he just he just turned into some kind of winged entity after kill, which is fine. I'm just spamming this because...
Mr. God. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get anything out of that, but jeez. You've grown strong. I don't think I can settle this here and now, Lord of Calamity. I don't think I can do anything in. Yeah, you've got your own rules there, genius. Spoken like a true hero. Oh, she's not a hero. <sighs> it's what you told me once, long ago. <sighs> On the day of the opening, Velvet, the Arthur you knew. Died that day. No shit. It was always there. In the back of my mind. If only it hadn't been Silica and my son who were killed that day. If only it had been you two instead. That's cold. I thought the same thing. So many times. If it had been us... And I know. I know you would have fought to save the world for us. It's true. I wanted to save everyone. Such a pity. She cried. She's crying. Goodbye. Damn. It's over. No, it's not. You know, you know, that's still alive. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. The appearance is gonna become a dragon, isn't it? No, it's not over yet. I'm hungry. Scared, even though it hurt. I know. I drank that gross medicine. I stopped myself from doing what I wanted to do, eating what I wanted to eat. I tried so hard. Why won't you give me this? I hate you. Luffy said, you tried really hard, but you don't have to fight anymore. 
This end is a wee bit of sweet, isn't it? It's time for us to rest, Luffy. They're gonna devour each other? Open. What? What are you doing? So that's it. Mm hmm. Velvet will let Inomi not devour her forever. With her forever devouring him in return, she will seal him while keeping him alive. An infinite contradiction, a perpetual cycle of destruction. Velvet, you can't! Yeah, she can. I think it's the only way you she and can. I are part of Inomi not V. If he dies. Both of us will die too. I dug my own grave. But. But you. I don't care about myself! I'm not scared of dying as long as I'm with you! The Fortune Apple. Good. Then die. But only after eating, living, doing everything you want to in life. She becomes a seal. <laughs> I really am horrible, aren't I? Just a selfish failure of a human being. But despite all that, you still saved me. With your unwavering kindness and strength. I didn't do anything. Velvet, you were the one who... Fee, you must have seen it during our travels. Humans spend their lives in constant struggle. That's why they end up making so many mistakes. Even my poor brother. That's why I'm asking this of you. Please live. I was the cause of so much chaos and destruction. Help the world I ruined. Help people like me. Help the weak. This is my last selfish request. That's... that's not fair! I'm truly... sorry. Okay, what? Prefer to seal an Imperium all by herself. Things contain more surprises than I expected. Relax. These are the four elemental Imperiums. Now you show up. Pretty irresponsible if you ask me. You are mistaken. Without a Nominat, the balance of our power will crumble. Mm -hmm. The elements will clash in violence and ruin. The world will take millennia to recover. From the destruction. No! To save the world from destruction, a new Imperium is needed. A Moloch of great strength, an indomitable will. Imperium Laffy. Sets. I'll do it. I'll be your new Imperium. Hold on a second, Laffy Set. You can't just. Let's hear him out. Yeah? You are part of Inominat. You're not lacking in strength. But the question here is one of your intent. Just what do you wish for this world? What will you bring unto its denizens? I want people to have another chance! A chance for them to right the wrongs born of their fallible spirits! To give those who dream of flying the time they need to rest their wings. So oh that in their God. strength, their weakness, their cruelty, their kindness, these imperfect 
humans will one day stretch their wings toward the horizon. Make your dream a reality, young Imperium. He becomes a god. That's a <laughs> what the hell? Tell me he's gonna kill demons everywhere, just like that. He is. Laffy Set, Imperial of Purity or something. Saves Velvet. Zavi. <sighs> oh, okay, maybe not. We're really back on the ground. No, really, you think? <gasps> The Dragon of Light! <sighs> Good grief. Velvet's recklessness rubbed off on him. Hasn't it, Luffy Set? Huh? Is that really Luffy Set? But how? That is his Empyrean form. It's also proof of his determination. Like an oath? Yes. Do I frighten you now, Eleanor? Aww. Mm. Not at all. You've matured into a fine man. So was that flame your true power as an Empyrean? Demons. Malevolence. Did that fire get rid of it all? No. I'm still very much a demon. <laughs> the silver flame has the power to cleanse a soul of its malevolence and change a demon back into a human. But it doesn't have the power to change people's hearts. It just gives them another chance at life. Isn't that right? Wow. Sorry. Looks like my sins run too deep to fix. That's fine. It's a part of who you are, Rokuro. You're still a softie, aren't you? Well, that's just great. Huh? Most of the exorcists are wiped out, but the evil and chaos in people's hearts lives on. Gonna be tough going from here on out, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Even still. Humanity will never lose its hope or its prayers for a better future. Well said! The Molochim have free will again. Some may even lend you their aid to help create this ideal future of yours. I will spread the word. This world is now under the protection of the Empyrean Laffy Set. Um, would you mind not calling me that? I don't think it really fits who I am now. I guess you're right. That was Velvet's name for you. Okay, what should we call you then? Call me by the name Eleanor gave me. Oh? One who lives. That's what Lafayette said means. Translated into the ancient language. It's Maltellus. Maltellus, huh? Sweet. So, she's a living seal for... This was a beautiful game.
I can't say I'm entirely happy about the ending. I was hoping for a for a happier ending for Velvet, but the entire theme of the game was freedom, free will, and the ability and freedom to choose your own path. And she chose this. She chose to seal Inominata away using her own body. So. she in her own little heaven now? Is that it? Oh my god, this was amazing. I am really glad I chose this as my first Let's Play. But, I don't think I want to do another Japanese RPG blind. Because, <laughs> holy crap, as much fun as this was, I'm not sure I can handle another blind one. <laughs> this was amazing. Like, wow. And I will definitely do. I think I'll do some bonus videos, the EX dungeons, see how I fare there. Velvet. The series' first solo female protagonist. And she is a badass. I'm, she's ridiculously powerful. I mean, obviously no one as powerful as Mila, but Mila is basically a god on her, a minor god, so yeah. And I'm probably going to do my best to finish the game on a higher set, harder setting at some point, but that'll be, uh, be more of a private, personal thing. I doubt I'll do a New Game Plus run on this, uh, on camera, but that would actually be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, would be. So if this was the latest Tales game, are they going to... <gasps> What's the... What's the next one going to be? Because the game's lately seem to be have semi like somewhat depressing endings and this one was bittersweet <laughs> Luffy becoming a freaking god that's great hmm. ice cold coffee not bad ah this is beautiful I can't believe I actually managed to finish this. I didn't think I would. I thought I would just get bored of recording all of this and stop halfway, but no, I did it. I mean, you can tell this was a port of a console game. I mean, I'm sure the PS4 is a very powerful console, and I'm not really part of the PC master race because I, because. I'm a gamer, I play on whatever platform I can. But... Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that, just whatever, right? Huh. She would have been a good mother. So are the Empyreans actually immortal, or do they choose successors every few centuries? Yeah, this is definitely a dream state because Sugar is back there eating food with his brother. <sighs> I don't get it. Why is... Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't get it. I've heard that this isn't the most popular Tales game and I have no idea why. It's really good. I mean, it's not as... I mean, it's not my absolute favorite even though Velvet is officially my favorite protagonist uh, ever simply because she's a strong, badass lady and I have 
always had a thing for strong female protagonists. Wow, that's a lot of... references. Yeah, I still hate Altorius though. He's a freaking idiot. Never, never despair. Good, good rule if you can follow it. <sighs> do, do. <laughs> Look, the Rhino Stagro, so, yeah. These credits are nice, they're like telling a little tale of what could have been. Or maybe she's dreaming it, I really don't know. Wait, is there going to be a post credit scene? Or do I have to do something special to get one of those? My gosh. This is a beautiful game, this was beautiful. The, the story was beautiful, the characters were wonderful, the combat I'm sure was awesome, even if I was forced to use a keyboard, a keyboard and mouse because my controller was, well, it just flat out didn't work with my, with my, with this game at all, which was kind of bothersome, but still, wonderful. Maybe it'll accept a lo one of those Logitech controllers, um, because Microsoft controllers are really, really, really expensive. <gasps> Look, it's a little brother! Baby brother! Of course, it's going to be several days before this one's uploaded. I've got to, I tend to pre-record a lot of stuff and 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 upload them much later. I have it. I'm going to have to break eventually. No, I'm serious about this. Nico. I felt so bad for her. I mean, she had such... She had dreams and... Wants to be married and, get, and have kids and... Oh, can't really blame Arturis for her death, though. was this was this was a good game oh yes I knew it look a bunch of demons this is not the end of chaos it is the beginning <laughs> Mankind will go on fighting without end. And? Yeah, that's the thing, he doesn't care that he's saving people, with people. he just wants to fight. <laughs> Rokuro better show up in a, as a cameo in the next game. Just as they did.
will still spread their wings to seek the horizon. Just as they did. They're rebuilding. Good for them. For every laugh, there will be tears. <laughs> She's got a fan club. <laughs> The cute one, I can't remember her name right now, but she's adorable. Tabitha. The hate they may embrace will be matched by love. So cute. Magulu, you're not as broken as you act. This world is cruel and unforgiving. Hey, come on! Even the gods themselves don't know what the future will bring. Damn right you will, kid. My god, what a wonderful game. Finn, that's perfect. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I said yes, right? I mean... Ah. Yeah. That was wonderful, people. I hope you enjoyed watching this journey as much as I did making it, because... My god. That was beautiful. Tempest, out.